welcome to this channel in this video we are going to see two things first one how to create wooden knots second one how to create splines and how to modify the splines with the help of bezier and bezier corner in 3ds max let's jump into the tutorial next to that create button we have shapes under shapes we have splines here i am clicking on ellipse button go to top view using mouse click and drag to create ellipse select the move tool and align the spline to the wooden sticks go to wireframe view and select the scale tool resize the spline so it covers the wooden sticks then change to perspective view and make the adjustment to edit spline go to the modify panel right click and select editable spline in that select vertex change the viewport into shaded view select the vertex point and make the adjustment vertex points already have a bezier handles if not right click and select the bezier using the bezier handle align the spline to the wooden sticks in this vertex point i can move only to y axis because in gizmo y axis active to activate z and x axis press the common box in gizmo and do the adjustment in this vertex activate z and y box in gizmo and do the adjustment to adjust the bezier handle independently right click and select bezier corner now the handles can be adjusted independently you can change to bezier and bezier corner anytime as you need it if you want to adjust the handle in all three direction activate the tiny box located in the middle of the gizmo After adjusting this plane in modify panel under rendering select the check boxes enable in render enable in viewport we can change the shape of a line by pressing rectangle after changing into mesh we can still adjust the vertex in viewport Once alignment is done apply turbo smooth in modifier list Now change the color or apply the material as you need it arrange as a cross knot by mirror and copy it Still we can adjust by selecting the vertex point now the wooden knot are ready If you like the video please click the like button for more videos please click the subscribe button thank you for watching the video have a great day